Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use linear search to find if a number exists in an array or not. So let's try to find number 40. We're going to start at the beginning of the array. So 2 is not 40. This is not 40. That's not 40. Now we found 40. So once we find 40, you can either return true or just return number 3, which is the index or the location of number 40. Let's try to find number 9 in the array. We start here. That's not 9. No. 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 And no. So we didn't find 9 in the array. In this case, you can either return false or return minus 1, indicating that we did not find number 9 in this array. Let's take a look at the Python code. So we have our function linear search. It's going to take in our array or the list, and we're trying to find the number or the target inside the list. N is the size of the array. We traverse through the array starting from the beginning to the end of the list. If the number that we're at is our target, then we return the index at that location. And after the for loop, we know that it's not inside the array, so we return minus 1. You can also use this. You can return true and false instead. And you can test the code using these test cases. In the worst and average cases, you have to traverse the entire list and find the element at the end of the list, or you don't find it inside the array at all, but you have to traverse through the entire array, which is n. The best case is when you find the number right at the beginning of the array, so that is all of 1. In the next video, we will discuss binary search, which is faster than linear search. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use binary search to find if a number exists in an array or not. In the previous video, we already discussed linear search, so if you want to check it out, I will include the link down in the description below. Now, the precondition to binary search is that the array must already be sorted from least to greatest. And let's try to find number 40 inside this array. So we put L, or the left, at the beginning of the array, and we put R, or the right, at the end of the array. The second step is to calculate the mid. So the formula for mid is L plus R divided by 2, and L is 0 at index 0, R is 4, and then we get 4 divided by 2, which gives you 2. So the mid is at index 2. We split the array into two groups. The first step is to check the number at M. So we're trying to find number 40, and we see that 40 is larger than 30, so it has to be in the second group. We simply move the left over to the second group, meaning that we choose the second group, and we simply repeat the process. So we calculate mid, so L is 3, R is 4, we get 7 divided by 2, which gives us 3.5. And the floor sign means you basically round down, so 3.5 becomes 3. And then we split the array into two groups again. We first check the number at mid, and we see that number 40 is here. We successfully found the number using binary search, and you can return true or return the index 3. Let's do one more example and find number 5. So we already have mid, and we split the array into two groups. 5 is smaller than 30, so it has to be in the first group. We simply move R over to here, meaning we choose the first group, and we repeat the process. So mid is L, which is 0. R is 1. We get 1 divided by 2, which is 0 0.5. Then you round down to 0. And we split the array into two groups again. The first thing I'm going to do is check the number at mid. 5 is smaller than 10. So we move R over to this side. Now notice when R is to the left of L, this indicates that number 5 does not exist inside the array. In this case, you can either return false or minus 1. For practice, I would like you to find number 15 and 50 using binary search. Let's take a look at the Python code. So we put L at index 0 and R at the end of the array. Then as long as L is smaller or equal to R or as long as L is to the left of R, we calculate the mid index, then we look into the array at mid. If we find a target, then we simply return the mid index. If our number in the array at mid is smaller than the target, it means our target is in the second group, right? So we have to move L to mid plus 1. And lastly, if it's in the first group, then we move R to mid minus 1. And after the while loop, we know that R is to the left of L. And that's when we did not find our target and we return minus 1. Here are the test cases. And this is the recursive function of binary search, but it basically does the same thing. 
The best case is all of one because let's say you calculate the mid and you find the number right away at mid. So you find it immediately and that's all of one. The average and worst cases are log n and why is that? That's because every time you iterate through the while loop, you get rid of half of the array. So let's say you have 32 numbers in the array. The next iteration you have only 16 and then 8 and then 4 and then 2, right? So that's basically logarithmic function. And binary search does not create more space, so it is all of one. And that's it for binary search. In the next video, we'll talk about ternary search, which is very similar, but it's slightly different. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share. It means a lot.